you can become a software engineer at home and not get a job. You can study computer science 101. You can study MIT, CS. You can study that. Right now you say computer science, but what does that mean? That's just broad. That's like saying, I want to be a chef, but how do you become a chef? And what type of chef you want to become? In the beginning, you're not going to know which one you want to become, but guess what? You're going to make a lot of mistakes by you just trying a whole bunch of shit that's not going to get your results. So what I do with my program is different. I go in and I take a realistic approach. I know for sure companies, when they're looking to hire people, they're looking for people that have experience. There's things that no one can teach you online in any course that you will learn at a job, right? Web development is a branch of software engineering. Okay. Software engineering, you have software development, you have embedded applications, you got game development, you got mobile applications, you got web development. Okay, we focus on web development. Now, how do we go in and make sure we succeed as we're learning at home and learning on our own time to make sure we have success and um, just be able to, to get a job and get into the game, right? Because you could learn all of the skills you want from like software engineering. Guess what? I could give you that. You could be just like the majority of people that's on YouTube that they've tried every single thing out there and they can't get in. You need to have experience. And if you don't have experience, you got to have a certain background, which will allow you for a company to go in and say, you know what? This guy went to Stanford University or this guy went to Georgia Tech. You know what? He has the foundation that we can mold him to the type of developer that we need. Now, when you're learning at home by yourself, you don't have that luxury. There is nothing backing you up. You're just a random person. You could just be right now, I don't know what you do, but let's just say right now you are cashier someplace. That's what you are. I don't know that you know how to code. I don't know that you know your, your skills. You have no background, no track record of having any type of background that will make me feel like, mm, this is someone I want to go and invest on. What I learned over time from my own career is that companies value you having skills and you having practical skills that actually get you into a job because you're going to learn a lot of things in there that they no longer have to teach you at the major companies or the major careers that you want to go on. Okay. So how do you do that? You don't have to go back to school to get a computer science degree, right? Now, the smart way to do it is to say, okay, into development, I'm into programming. What are the opportunities that I can do while I learn all of the skills? to be the quote unquote software engineer or full stack developer, etc. So every time that you learn a skill, you find out what type of roles you actually can do with that skill. For example, you learn HTML, CSS, which is the foundation of web development. Okay. Once you have that skill, there's a bunch of jobs that you can actually do with just HTML, CSS. People don't understand this, but it's true. Okay. Now, of course, you also need to learn the tools for those jobs. So, for example, which is email development. That's what I teach, right? Because you can learn HTML, CSS, go to free code camp. It's free. But no one else is teaching the things that you're going to be doing on the job. That's where I focus on. So you have things like testing your emails, testing your emails, knowing how to use those tools, understanding what email marketing is and what's the point of it and how does this work in the big picture, okay? What is email development? Email development is the process of creating emails and testing those emails, right? Making sure they are, they are responsive, that they look good in every type of platform, that they work with dark mode, light mode, they're efficient, the images are optimized, etc. right? Help promote a business, help promote a product, right? Warm an audience, right? That's the point of an email developer. Right? Let's zoom out. We went in, zoomed in. We looked at everything. Cool. Now let's zoom out for your big picture of your career. Why the hell would you start with email development? If you want to go in and be a full stack developer. Okay. Number one, now you're working. Okay. You started learning a skill that in two, three months, you had enough skills to be able to get a job and get hired. Now, you still have a long way to go. It's not how people put it here on, on YouTube and all of these platforms and tell you, man, you could be a, a front end developer in three months. That's cap. That was back in the days. Now in 20 
freaking 2024, you're going to need nine months to be a decent front end developer. Okay. We still haven't gone into back end development, which will open up the doors for you to become a full stack developer. So that's another nine months to a year to actually know what to do and how to build applications. So technically, you could sit your ass down at home and learn all of the skills and then say, well, now I know everything. Now I'm a full stack developer, just like a lot of people that's probably in here. They're like, man, I learned this, I learned that, I took this course, I took this course, I took this course. And you spend a year and a half, almost two years learning all of the skills. And then now you apply to companies and when you apply there, they're not even looking at you. Why? Because that role is a role where they're going to pay you more money, but they are expecting for you to have more experience. So now you come in and you learn all of the skills and then you got to think to yourself, like, man, how am I going to get a job, right? If no one is hiring without no experience. So now you're in an infinite loop. You're in an infinite loop trying to figure out how you're going to get your first job and hoping and begging to God, please, God, let somebody give me a chance. You don't need to beg to God. You go in and you do it smart. You start learning a skill that you could actually get a job with, right? And while you work in that job and working at a company, you continue learning the rest of the other skills that you want. And now you have a year of experience. By the time you get to apply, as a front-end developer, as a full-stack developer, right? Does that make sense to anybody? Put number one here. If everything that I just broke down in here makes sense to you, put the number one, put number two. If you have no idea, you, you got lost and you didn't understand nothing that I told you. You get what I'm saying? You want to go for a, a job that can get you in the game. So you can go in, build experience, because no matter what, it's going to take you a year to a year and a half to learn to become a full stack developer. But what do you do? Do you sit down at home, suck on your thumb like a baby? Or do you say, let me go in, I already have enough skills to get a job, get a job with this, and then from there continue to grow. Now, once you're in the world of email development or content editing, etc., there's going to be opportunities for you within those realms. Also, too, it's going to allow you to see in action if you want to do that type of job. I'll give you a great example. You start at a company and you start as an email developer. Let's say you start as a content editor. Your job is to manage the content of Disney. You're in, in talks with the marketing team. You're in talks with the designers. You're in talks with the copywriters. You're in talks with the front-end developers and the back-end developers, right? Now you're seeing what every type of role does to be able to have this company be successful. Now you realize, oh, shit, the back-end guys, they stay too late. I don't want to stay too late. That's an insight that you're getting from within the industry. Man, the front end, shoot, it, it seems like it's a little bit difficult. But I'm interested because I like to, you know, create the visuals. Cool. Now you figure it out. Oh, shit, I want to be a front end developer. You get what I'm saying? Now you're learning all of those things from within. The biggest problem that most people have is that they come into this game with, without no knowledge or anything. They just say, I want to be a software engineer. What does that even mean? What type of software engineer you want to become? How do we go in and make sure we succeed? 